but hi welcome back to pearl media and my name is pearl chauke now on today's video we will still be going on uh the series that we have started which is opportunities 101 now on my previous uh video or rather my introduction we're talking about how uh, our skills can actually become something that becomes a job or that earns you a paycheck uh, the question is what are you doing about it now on today's video i am going to uh invite or i have invited a young lady who actually does my makeup from there are two different types of training if there's someone out there that may say i don't know how to do this or the other honey there's informal training as well as formal training now today we will hear a lot about informal training and you'll get to see how beautiful i will be looking thereafter and without any further ado let's go meet the lady of the moment iris oh she is our girl for the day promises right as i did promise you i thought to invite this beautiful lady iris by the way why do they call you bobby namara it's just the name i grew up with i have no idea where and how i got <laughs> that nickname but i just go with it you go with the flow yeah with me uh, uh, um, i didn't know your name was iris until you invited me on uh, instagram mm -hmm. i literally didn't know like all this while I've been calling her Bobina, but Bobina, welcome to Pearl Media. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's, it's, such a pleasure pleasure. Pleasure. it's such a pleasure to have her. And guys, family, can I just thank this beautiful lady as you see me, as I am, as hot as I am. It is all, it is all because of this beautiful oh, lovely lady. <laughs> She's turning pink, y'all. I'm blushing. <laughs> Yo, and, and the eyelashes, I mean, drama galore. <laughs> you know, I was telling you this earlier that I once saw this uh, video, I think it was like a TikTok video. Oh, yes, it is. 
where it was like a very from the smallest of uh, lashes to the glamorous i don't think i can i don't think you guys can see that i have lashes on so i don't want to get <laughs> they must not look natural i'm not doing them for nothing Hi, bo. Mm -hmm. so they must just look artificial as they come but um thank you so much for for joining me um just a background for for the people that may not know you and why i'm having this series before you speak i just want to um remind our viewers Jorge, the reason why we pardon me the reason why we embarked in this journey of talking about opportunities looking at um, people's talents and why we are not doing anything about it as we can see the job market um it's quite hard to to get employment these days you would agree we go to school you graduate and then you come back you sit home and nothing comes out of it you keep applying and applying but nothing actually actually comes out of it and in the meantime you need to feed you need to clothe yourself seasons are changing you can see now we, we are wearing a uh, long sleeve uh, uh, stuff you know things are coming in and out of trend you want to look good you know what i'm saying and makeup is expensive so thank you i mean everything needs money and, and you can't be looking at the people your mother, your parents, your All eyes, the time. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. no. yeah. at some point one needs to stand up and do something about it. Mm -hmm. Now coming back to you, you are one of those young uh, ladies or young girls that, that actually grew up in front of my eyes. Like uh, 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 we used to live back in extension two together and well now she lives elsewhere but we used to live in the same Kasi, right? And um, when, when I had an event some time ago and I'm like, I need a makeup artist and they're like, oh no, there's this lady called Iris and I'm like, give me her numbers and boom, when she comes, I'm like, oh, it's you, I come on. <laughs> <clears throat> so I want you to tell us your journey. I know you went to school, you finished, you came back and COVID-19, what's your story? You know what? Um, okay, I went to school. I yeah. to school. Ooh, money! Okay. Yeah. So uh, during COVID, you know how everyone was just sheltered. We were all inside the house. Sure. We were all in each other's spaces. I think it was just people. I I love. You know, I thrive when I'm alone. Uh -huh. I really thrive when Introvert. I'm alone. Introvert. I used to watch YouTube videos, guys. That's how I learned how to do makeup, and I would do makeup on myself. I look. I'll send you the pictures of when I started. I looked like a cow. Like before meets after kind of vibe. This, this, this is just, it's a journey. What I'm doing here, I'm not even happy per se. I'm not satisfied with where I am now, but I can understand that it's a journey. You know, two days ago, my, my sister sent me pictures of when I would try putting on makeup on her and it was a mess. Whoa, a mess. So when uh, what's this? The the lockdown levels were, were being uh, lowered down. Oh, yeah, 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 they were being lowered down. I could go back to school because I I went back to school. Mm -hmm. And my sister was her my sister. Okay, my sister. When I refer to my sister, it's actually my sister in law. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. So her older sister had like a surprise baby shower. Mm -hmm. So she invited me. She's like, no, let's go. I wanna end. I went there and I did her makeup, I did my makeup and funny enough everyone else wanted their makeup to be done Whoa. and I did their makeup too and one particular lady was like you must please I don't want too much makeup I don't want it to look dramatic yeah. and okay I was just like okay I did it I gave her what she wanted and and they were they were very happy That's with that good. makeup and it was still beginner stage I was still <laughs> learning but they were happy with it you know yeah and one of them was like, you must take this thing seriously because you're good. Imagine, I'm a beginner and someone is telling me I'm good. You are good. I started practicing even more, started practicing even more. I, I started posting pictures of myself in makeup and I've never openly went out and said, you know, I do makeup as a business, but people come to me. I feel like that's great. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! It is. That's great. Definitely. Like, I've never said oh, I do people's makeup, and but they come. They come to me. They do come to me. Wow, that that is beautiful. I and you're my first customer, by the way. I just didn't want to tell you because you're not going to. You're not going to be confident enough. 
if I told you this is the first time I'm doing someone's makeup on a professional makeup. level. Yes. You mean I was your first paycheck? Bless, were. bless the money I'm and going to do. And I did a horrible <laughs> job at it. I, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> On that note, Nick, I am going to show you the work she did the first time. Because hey, I, I actually had a prestigious uh, event at the time. It was a woman empowerment seminar, and I was the host. Yes, and this girl, I had so much confidence. You know, you know, you but, know what? But the thing is, before you, you say you know what, Nick. After you did my makeup, when I looked at myself uh, in the mirror. I was fine. You were fine. I looked you were. amazing. Even when people look at you, me as even well. Even when they look at you, they can see, oh no, her makeup is fine. But the camera. The camera. The camera. The camera so gave people any justice. Yeah, this is why people go to school for it. <laughs> this is why it's a profession. I understand, Shem. Yeah, and yeah. it's something that, hey, it, you know, it actually, I was keeping my self esteem to be it. After I told you it wasn't. After I saw that it yeah. took a hit, I was, I was just like, okay, no. uh, But again, I'm just like, no, let me carry it on. And another thing that contributed to uh, you looking the way you look is remember I told you that when I started doing makeup, I didn't mm -hmm. start. Uh, I didn't learn because I wanted to do other people's makeup. Yeah, so right. I didn't have your colors. Mm. I didn't have your, you see our complexions are very different. different. Like I didn't have yellow bone and dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Both very beautiful. I know, right? But here's the thing. I want to I want you to tell us a little bit more on your informal training because you didn't necessarily go to school to become a makeup artist, mm. but it took YouTube. Yes, YouTube. People remember to subscribe, comment, like. and like. And exactly. <laughs> Now coming back to, to how you started, you were probably inspired by somebody. How was the whole journey? Didn't you like didn't you have like low self-esteem or ah would I ever produce something as good as that? Or... You know when I was when I was looking at some I thought I killed it. I thought yeah, you know what? I'm getting and when I look back at it, I'm just like shaming. Eh? You didn't know I went out in public guys. After doing your makeup. <laughs> I went out in public and I was proud. Wow. I was proud. But it's a process. I mean, I watched YouTube channels. I watched tutorials, I mean. Yeah, tutorials on YouTube, yeah. Yes, I watched them for many hours. I've watched like five at a time and one was like 30 minutes. Yo, that's how much time That's like I two spent. hours, 30 minutes. I, I used to, it used to take me an hour to do my eyebrows. Really? Yo. When I was still learning, now five minutes my own on myself five minutes tops. so who is that one influencer that actually worked it for you that gave you that oomph that you thought you could actually relate to it i love some of these women today mishali ndamase she's okay. okay. Mapo. who else i watch i watched there's a lot yeah. there's a lot of them at least we got like the top two which is and the uh, the master lady mm -hmm. as well as the guy. Yeah. So um, looking at how when you started, you, it was not uh, for profit purposes. You were just doing it so that you could look good. Mm -hmm. And a little birdie whispered, "Girl, take yourself seriously." And you actually did that. And I am honored to be told and to know I didn't know that I was her first gig. You did not seem to be confident. And if <laughs> I told you, you just seem to be. Like, eh. <laughs> but you know, I, I really love the work that you did. I really do. And um, I remember when you did my makeup, I honestly, it, for me, I never thought, oh, right, she's young, she grew up in front of me, does she even know what she's doing? I was excited of the fact that somebody's going to do my makeup mm -hmm. and I'm going to look the part, I'm going to look presentable, beautiful. And to that, I did because I, re I received. So many compliments from the ladies I was with. It's just that when it came to the caption part of it, like when they captured the pictures, it just it was somehow. enough. It was okay. That room didn't have lighting. Did it? Yeah, I didn't have enough lighting. It didn't have lighting. It was inside a closed space. Yeah. Had they taken pictures of you outside, then you were probably not gonna look very good. Oh, um, no. But either way, the weather was. It was um, cloudy. It was very cloudy. Yeah, just like this. 
Now, um, Iris, I want to, I was hoping that um, we could talk about the fear because in my first video or the day you did my makeup on my intro video, you talked about how you've been wanting to do this, but there's that level of fear. Why? Why do you feel that way? Why else you haven't it? A millionaire. Mm -hmm. There's someone out there that still does their eyebrows and they and they they feel like beautiful <laughs> up there. And then there's me who does this, and I feel like no, oh, no, I'm not doing, I'm not doing enough, yeah. or it's not good enough. And I think it's because another thing that contributes is comparing yourself to other people. Yeah, comparing Comparison. your work to other people. Mm -hmm. I told myself that you know what. Um, I'm not gonna post that I do makeup. I know. She told me that. I, I was, I'm not gonna post that I'm, I'm doing makeup. Like, I'm look just... at me. I deserve <laughs> to be posted. I mean, why? Why are you not doing that? People need to know that Iris is on the block. She is doing this. Because, listen, we are from a, not a small town, but we are from a developing town called Mustina. If there are, for example, five popular makeup artists, you need to be added on the list, baby. And Sometimes we worry about who will come and support us. Do you really think five people would, would do justice to the whole town? Do you? Definitely not. Look at me, I'm here. Yesterday you had a, uh, you had a young lady that came for her makeup and she looked amazing. We'll ask permission from her if we could post her picture from yesterday so that you guys can actually see that this young lady, this fear situation she has, she has, this needs to disappear. Yeah. It's in the mind. All in the mind. I'm working on it though. Please. I'm working on it. Please. But what I love the most about you is that even though there's that level of fear, you didn't just shun away from it all. I didn't, I didn't stop practicing. That's good. I didn't stop practicing. Whatever look I would do, even if it's just, sometimes I get so lazy, I just do the eyes. Because for me, eyeshadow is what matters. Yeah. Cut a makeup look. Makeup look, yeah. I take eyeshadow more serious than the rest of the look. I saw you take your time there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I saw. I saw. Mm. Um, so that's what I'm focusing on now. And then the technique and the face is also something that I'm going to work on on, on its own. But so far, so good, though. Coming, coming back to the um, <clears throat> techniques, obviously you learned that on YouTube and the learning has not ceased. You are still learning. Yes. You are still referring, comparing to other people, other YouTubers' work. Yes. And, and you like know, that. and and you know what? There are many when it comes to makeup. Mm -hmm. There are many ways to process. Mm. Techniques are very different. There are some people that 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 do their makeup look where they put foundation all over the face then the concealer then they yeah. and this, then they end with the what with your eyebrows and your and your and your face. I thought yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't put uh what's this? Uh, foundation foundation right? first no. Foundation I put on after I've concealed. Mm -hmm. That's when I put foundation. So, Guys, I'm sorry. Some of this lingo is like, oh what the hell is he talking about? <laughs> But I still want to look good, okay? <laughs> there, are very, there, are, there are various techniques that you can use. Mm. Various. You just have to find the one that works for you. True. Now, I want to come back to how you started. Fine. Went on YouTube, saw how they did it. But how did you start? Did you have the material? Because I hear makeup is expensive. So tell us a little bit about that. I think I have my first brush. She yeah. has her first brush. <laughs> can we, can we, can we, maybe? Oh yeah, like this little <laughs> thing. Isn't it cute? Way back memory lane. This is where she started. How many brushes did you have at the time? Guys, from three to this. And I'm sure others are in the room somewhere. <laughs> yeah. I like that. So I want to I want you to tell our viewers, our friends out there. Um, as much as they feel it's difficult, you started with three brushes, um, Irish, like Boys, three brushes. Foundation, cheap, I bought cheap things, I bought things that I could afford. And remember, the advice that I can give mm -hmm. people who want to start out is makeup is not price, makeup is technique. Mm. 
Yeah. You don't need to have the most expensive foundation out there for you to do, to do your makeup. I literally thought it was foundation makeup for Oh, really? And here I am thinking everything needs to be like from your big stores. We are not going to mention any store names, but you know, your big brand, big names. One, one can actually be good whether it's from on a budget. On, on a budget. Remember, I'm unemployed. I need to needs to be on a budget. Definitely, definitely. And obviously, you buy your own makeup. And for example, I just came here carrying my uh, 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 filming equipment, and everything on my face is her. Mm -hmm. mm. so, so from from one brush and foundation, no no colors, no, no, no contouring colors. Or I like that because now <clears throat> it only shows that we all start from somewhere, from scratch, mm -hmm. somehow. When I even when I started, you know, this comparing thing. Yeah, comparison situation. When you see another makeup artist using a foundation that costs I don't know, two hundred. That's yeah. a lot, guys. If it's not a lot for you, then great. But for me, it's a lot. Mm -hmm. It's two hundred for one shade. Mm -hmm. How many people are your shade out there in the world? True. You have to find different shades. So imagine I have to find seven. Now it's seven mm -hmm. shades that I have to buy. Times two hundred. How much is that? Oh, oh wait, one thousand four hundred. One thousand four hundred on foundation only. There's Ooh, concealer. Girl. There's That's powder. A lot. That's a lot, right? Makeup is expensive. But gradually, slowly but surely. Yes. It's it's basically that thing where you start uh, rendering your service. The more people come, it doesn't mean you squander the money you have. You reinvest in the business. The more people come, maybe one wants a glamorous look like what they did on me today. Um, it, it takes more uh, uh, product. Therefore, when I pay her, she, pardon me, she goes back and... Uh, uh, restocks her products like buy more product mm -hmm. uh, so that they can sustain her for a longer time so which is good which is quite amazing i was just about to ask you um you know how there are other ladies that are already doing the same thing that you are and probably very good very good than you are because you're just a beginner and you're learning how are you dealing with the um okay maybe i should say do you ever feel intimidated how are you dealing with it and all that I don't think I feel intimidated per se. I'm 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 excited to hear this. Yeah. I don't I don't feel intimidated. I feel encouraged. <laughs> That's the way point, I was hoping. Because <laughs> at some point mm -hmm. that makeup artist was like me. Yeah. True. Sure. I've never been bashed by any makeup artist in my area. So I don't feel the need to bash another makeup artist. Makeup artist. We're all doing the same thing and you're right, we won't do justice to the whole town. No. One person can't do justice to the whole town. I like that. It's best for everyone. Hmm. I like that. I, I just love that. You, you you are not competition with the other person that's doing the same thing that you are. Mm -hmm. Earn your craft, you know. Uh, uh, um, when you go out there, go and do your best and make sure that when people come back to you, they know that you're going to deliver a good service. It's not about, I'm better than Iris. No, it's about her rendering a particular service to the people that needs it the most and doing it good, mm -hmm. like I look right now. Because, I mean, why would I not come back or recommend you to come to her as I look this good? I mean, jealous fast, jealous down, okay? Anyway, um, <laughs> she makes me feel good. Just keep going. Keep going. Practice. It does make perfect. I practice. Sometimes I'll have sleepless nights and I'll be so bored to a point where I'll be like, hey, let me do my makeup at 3 o'clock in the morning. Hi, Mo! Yes! Passion! I, I, more than anything, I'm passionate about makeup. When I'm doing someone's makeup, I feel I'm, I feel like I'm having fun. I'm, I'm painting. I'm, I'm, I'm exercising. I'm, I'm contributing to making someone feel beautiful and the reaction that people give me when they they see how they look after i look is priceless cannot be bought <laughs> it's i i never i will never get tired of seeing someone tear up because they feel so beautiful they oh. they're trying to ruin my work 
<laughs> but it's it's so pleasing, man. Yeah. It's pleasing. That's beautiful. Now, guys, with that said, I just want to thank you so much for coming on Pearl Media. Thank you for having me. Uh, we appreciate you and we want to see you grow. You know, being here means that I'm being seen. Precisely. We, we, we need you to grow so that other people can relate to you, where, where other people can feel inspired by you mm -hmm. and start growing their own uh, um, something, their, their own businesses or whatnot. It, it might not necessarily be makeup, but it could be something different. But because of you sharing your story, your uh, journey with the world, it just makes it so much easier for someone else to say, wow, she could do it under such difficult circumstances, the lockdown and all that. Why can't I? So thank you. <laughs> now, Barareshu, with that said, I just want to thank you so much for joining into this conversation. And please, wherever you are, if you feel that these videos are worth your uh, data, <laughs> your time, as well as um, important content that you could actually share with someone, please do not hesitate to share, like, and subscribe, subscribe right? <laughs> Comment, let us hear, let us hear your stories, your your uh, humble beginnings, where you are, your fears. How can we help? Because we are a community, as you see us sitting here. I am not, it's, it's not a one woman's uh, job. Mm -mm. Takes a community, takes a village. So with that said, Barare, shoo, remember to take care of yourself. Even if it's not for you, do it for the rest of us. Because you know what? You matter. You really, really, really matter. Peace.